Hello guys, welcome back to another Helix video. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm not building anything new or uh, coming up with a new patch or really showing you how to do anything new on the Helix. It's more just kind of talking about finding your own tone, your own sound, building a patch that's yours. Um, and what kind of inspired this, I did a, uh, I had a request on YouTube to do a plexi patch, which I did. And then um, I was also requested to try to do like a David Gilmore type patch. And uh, I thought, oh, that, that would be fun. And I kind of got into it. But um, I kind of went to my default patch that I always use live and, and pretty much any time I play out, this is the patch I like to use. And it covers a lot of ground. It's based off of Matchless. If, if you've seen my other, uh, or for some of my first Helix videos, you've, you've seen this patch. Um, I've uploaded a, a slightly updated or slightly tweaked version of it, just some e EQ changes, um, and I did move the compressor in front of the drives based on the recommendation of somebody on YouTube. So that was thanks for the recommendation. Um, but basically, the point of this video is uh, just to kind of show, like, if you find a nice versatile patch to kind of get your own sound, you can cover a lot of bases with it and do really you know, almost anything you want to do. I mean, there's, it's, you're not going to cover Slayer with this patch or anything like that. Um, but just showing that this can, like, this patch can pull off a convincing Gilmore, I think. Um, so there's going to be a link to this patch in the description. And then also I've got a link to a video I just did uh, over, the, over this past weekend, a uh, cover of Since I've Been Loving You. The reason I'm linking to that is it's the same patch with, with the only difference is there's a delay turned on this time where there wasn't in that one, but the same drive pedals are turned on. the 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 difference in tone is I was using a Les Paul, whereas in the example I'm going to play for you here, I'm using a Strat. So it just goes to show if you change the guitar you're using and the pickups and how you play, a lot of it is really how you approach what you're playing. You can really morph your tone to fit what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and a lot of it really is in what you do with your hands. Um, so anyway, um, real, real quickly, just to summarize, this patch is based off a of matchless jump. Uh, I've got a dual cab block with the 2x12 interstate and the 4x12 greenback. I'm using the 67 condenser on the 2x12 and a 121 on the greenback. Um, got an 808 and also a Timmy for turned on for the drive. And then I've got... Um, a uh, basic, I mean, memory man, we all know what it is. Memory man, delay pedal. Um, I tend to like syncing things up in dotted eighth. It, you know, you can kind of do what you want as far as how you like to set your delays. That's just kind of my go-to default, so I didn't change it for this example. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the solo from Time off of Dark Side of the Moon. This is using a Strat neck pickup. Um, I just went on YouTube and found a tutorial. I'll put a link to that as well in the description and learn this solo specifically for doing this video. So I just learned this solo. So all of my Gilmore bends may not be perfect and spot on. Um, every note may not be exactly like the like the way uh, Gilmore played it. So you know, get that out of the way. But I think you'll get the idea. And also, I'm just going to play it. You'll hear the audio. Um, I just kind of last minute decided to do this patch and I didn't feel like setting up lights and the camera and videoing myself playing it. It was just a whole nother level. I might actually have to change out of my work clothes to do that. And um, that was more work than I want to put into this. <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind just hearing the audio. So um, with uh, without any further ado, I'm going to play the audio for this and let you hear what this patch sounds like doing some David Gilmore tones. So it's just the solo section. One last thing, I found this backing track on guitarpackingtracks.com and I'll post a link to that also in the description. Lots of free backing tracks, great resource if you haven't checked that site out before, great resource. Anyway, here we go.
So there you go. Uh, that's the solo from Time. Um, uh, j- again, this is just the kind of show like you can take kind of find make yourself a patch, like find your own tone, and and you can use a bass patch just to cover so many bases and so many different uh, things with it. You know, there's so much versatility built into this. You know, if you I, it's a difference of, of approach. I personally would rather have one patch that can do lots of different things well than have to build a patch for every little thing I want to do. That's just my particular approach. I like to treat Helix as like a tube amp with pedals, and I don't really like to switch patches around too much. That's just, again, personal preference. But anyway, this is just to show, you know, how it sounds. I'm trying to do David Gilmour. Again, I'll have a link to doing some Zeppelin with the same patch in another video of mine. Just to kind of show you the like how the tone changes just by simply changing the guitar and the way you play and that sort of stuff. Um, and lastly, I'll post a link to the uh, tutorial video of how to play that solo I found on YouTube. Um, man, I wish YouTube had been around in the 90s. I would know so many more songs than I do now if YouTube had been around back then. Uh, when I first started, you know, you had to pick things out or wait for the tab to come out in, in uh, the monthly guitar magazines or whatever. Uh, but it's such a nice resource having having people that have spent time posting tutorials online. So I really appreciate the work and time people put into that. So I'll share a link to, if you want to learn that solo, I'll share the link that I found. It was a really good one on how to play it. So anyway, I hope this uh, is interesting to you guys. Uh, again, I'm not really covering new ground per se, just... Just uh, my point in this is to say, use these tools to find your sound, and then you can cover, kind of do whatever you want with it. But um, don't feel like you have to, like, you know, Gilmore wasn't using a matchless. He wasn't using a tube screamer, you know. Um, But, you know, I think it sounds, I would happily go out and play a cover of this in public with that tone. You know, I'm quite happy with it. So anyway, I hope that makes sense and and this may be as useful to some of you guys. And um, if you like the original patch that I posted, check out this version two of it. Like I said, it's just the EQ's tweaked a little bit. I've moved the compressor. Um, uh, There's a button that turns on. uh, There's two delays and reverbs that are like really ambient swell type stuff. I've changed them around a little bit where they're not so over the top as well. There's a little tweaking there. So there's a few things that have been changed, but um, I'd say it's, you know, it's 90% the same as the previous one, but it's out there if you want it. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been useful, and we'll see you next time.